Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we discuss how to wear boots 102 or boot styles beyond the basics. If you're new to boots, please check out our other videos about the five basic boot styles first. Once you have your basic boot needs covered, it's time for some advanced styles. First, let's talk about button boots. It's this beautiful boot with two-tone and buttons. So who are they for? They're for men who like elegant formal outfits, dark suits such as charcoal, maybe a stroller suit or a morning coat. They're definitely a statement piece because they're contrasting like a spectator and so they stand out from the crowd. It's also a great option for you if you simply don't want a boot that anybody else has because it's a very small number of people who actually have them. It's also great for people who love vintage clothing because it can give you that vintage look. To learn how to button these boots, please check out our in-depth guide here. So what colors should you get them in for? Well, traditionally, you have a black box calf leather at the bottom upper and then a contrasting white or off-white suede top. Today, you can also find them with fabric inserts such as tweed, maybe some contrasting leather, you have them in brown, or you can have red with black. Basically, the sky is the limit. So who is this boot not for? Obviously for people who are just starting out with boots, but that goes without saying. It's also not a boot for you if you're not into formal clothing, unless of course you go just with tweed and something in brown. But that's very unusual and usually just available made to order. It's also not a terribly modern look, so if you want to be cutting edge, this is not the boot for you. The next boot style is the opposite. It's the so-called work boot. And as you can see, it's dirty, it has scuffs because it's used to work outside and so there are signs of wear. Work boots are perfect if you're in the construction business, if you work outside a lot, if you're very physical or if you love your yard and your garden and you just need something that withstands the elements. They're also good for electricians and sometimes they come with steel toe caps so your feet are protected. In recent years, these boots have become very popular with hipsters who wear high-end expensive denim jeans and flannel shirts, maybe have a tattoo, a beard and a disconnected undercut. The most well-known and popular brand is definitely Red Wing who recognized this trend and so besides their regular work line, they created a heritage line. Even though it emphasizes the craftsmanship of the boots, it's clearly a more fashion-driven brand. Outside the US, these kind of work boot styles for city men are also popular in Japan and Germany and many other countries. Even though Red Wing are the most popular, they also come with a certain price. These boots here are from Thoroughgood. It's another US-made brand and it's very good. I've been using those for years and I can vouch for their quality. As you can imagine, I only wear them when I actually work outside. Other brands you could look into include Eastland, Wolverine and Danner. For work purposes, a Vibram sole is great because it's rubber, it gives you extra grip, but you can also find them with different kind of leather soles or rubber soles. What color should you go for? Traditional is this kind of mid-brown and if you want something different and you wear them in the city, you can go with dark brown, something burgundy or even sand. Definitely don't wear with this boot because historically it has never been black and since it has that outdoor work heritage, black would simply be too formal. So who is this boot not for? If you wear a lot of suits and you like formal outfits, this is not the boot for you. Ideally, this pairs well with denim, not even well with khakis. So if you're not into denim, don't buy this boot. Another variation to the classic work boot is a so-called mock toe boot. It's inspired by the moccasin and all other construction is not a true moccasin, it has a similar look. So who's it for? It's for men who like the traditional look of the work boot, but they don't need the performance aspect, such as steel toes or anything else. It's simply for the looks. The mock toes usually have a white rubber sole and they're perfectly fine to wear for a startup office or a casual office environment. So what color should you get mock toes in? I personally think mid-brown or even better burgundy because it goes with other colors. So if you have denim in not just blue, but other shades, burgundy is the boot that you can wear with anything. One of my personal favorite boot styles is the broke boot or wingtip boot. 
The style comes in lots of different versions and I just like it because it goes so well with four winter outfits and it has a typical Fulbrook look and as a boot it's just slightly warmer and I even prefer it to a regular shoe. Obviously you can have a very thick sole like this one or you can go with something thinner. This is more elegant. So who are these boots for? Men who love flannel suits or tweed or any other kind of winter fabric. They pair supremely well and always look stylish. They also look great with denim, corduroy, chinos, or any other kind of casual pant. Honestly, I can't think of a man who can't wear this boot. Obviously, if you're into brooks, full brooks, semi brooks, this is the boot for you. If you get them with a thick leather sole, they can even do double duty as a hiking boot. So what color should you get them in? Personally, I like tan a lot because it's contrasting. So if you have a black, dark brown, brown or navy blue pair of corduroys, jeans or chinos, it really stands out. For maximum versatility though, I think you should go with a cordovan oxblood color. This here is a cordovan boot and it goes with a lot of outfits. It's not as flashy, but I used some shoelaces to get a different look. Obviously, I did the same thing with this boot and the great thing about having different boot laces is that you can achieve a different look simply by exchanging a very inexpensive pair of boot laces. For a selection of more than 15 colors of boot laces, please click here. So who is this boot not for? Honestly, almost any man can wear it, but it's not for you. If you like clean, simplistic lines and a minimalist design, then you should rather go with Chelsea boots or a Jodhpur boot. The final advanced boot style really depends on what kind of climate you live in. If you live in a drier climate, I suggest you get a suede boot. Simply because it has a wonderful texture, it's very different from regular box calf or cordovan boots, and it is casual, and it oftentimes comes in different colors that are not super classic, but still very, very good to combine in a classic inspired men's wardrobe. If you live in a colder, rainy climate, you should probably invest in a pair of duck boots. In the early 20th century, Leon, Leon Wood Bean came back from a hunting trip and had wet feet. So he decided to do something about it. So he went to a local cobbler and had a regular boot combined with a rubber boot. It turned out it was a fantastic idea and by 1912, he acquired a mailing list. The ad read, you cannot expect success hunting deer or moose if your feet are not properly dressed. The main hunting shoe is designed by a hunter who has tramped the main woods for the last 18 years. We guarantee them to give perfect satisfaction in every way. Now obviously this kind of marketing wouldn't quite fly today, but back then it really worked and people bought the boot, loved it, and that's why L.L. Bean is still around today. So why are they called duck boots? Well, hunters in the marshy waters of Maine and Massachusetts hunted for ducks and so this hunting boot eventually became the duck boot. Today it's worn by people who hunt anything, not just ducks, and also for people who just want warm feet when it's cold outside or when it's rainy. It certainly has a very unique aesthetic and personally I'm not a huge fan of it, but they're very functional and definitely a classic. So who are the boots for? They're good for all men who live in wet or cold conditions. Other than L.L. Bean, there are lots of companies producing this kind of boot. One of them that has a pretty high quality comes from Bozeman, Montana and it's called Schnees. Ironically, Schnee is the word for snow in German. They promise to make boots that go even to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the same temperature in Celsius. So what color should you get it in for? Since this is a functional boot primarily, the color doesn't really matter, but most of them come in a shade of brown. So who's this boot not for? Basically for all people who don't need a functionality, because hands down, it's an ugly boot. Side zippers on boots may seem like a good idea because they're convenient, but I would stay clear of them because usually they wear out prematurely and exchanging a pair of zippers on a high quality boot is a difficult thing and it never looks good. So stick to regular traditional boots that are lace up. It may take you a few seconds longer to get in, but you can keep those for years to come. Of course, there are a lot more different boot styles, but these are my personal five favorite advanced boot styles and I don't wear cowboy boots, otherwise I would have mentioned them. But honestly, that should warrant an entire video on its own. If you enjoyed these videos, please check out our other ones and sign up to our channel so they come right to your inbox.